In this video, you will learn how to automate posting to the Webflow CMS. Yesterday, I built, launched, and automated webtotheflow.com, which is the blog to teach you all about Webflow development. So, today I want to show you how I built this in just one day using Notion and Make, two of my favorite tools. So in case you are new to Web Through the Flow, my name is Marvin Aziz, I'm a freelance developer and I would highly appreciate if you could hit that like and subscribe button. It does make a difference. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So it took me roughly one day to build out this very, very basic website. Okay, let me give you a quick overview of what I've built. So that's the homepage, right? A little animation going on here. Um, nothing, nothing too fancy to be honest, but just a very basic version of the website, okay? Another thing that I built is the contact page here, very important for me. So in case anyone wants to work with me, um, they can sign up here. But the most interesting thing right now for you and for me as well um, is the blog section, okay? So I've created this page um, and if you're familiar with uh, Webflow, you might know um, of the CMS feature they have. So if you're a paid customer, um, you can use the, the CMS feature to basically upload content and um, show it dynamically on your website, right? These are the current videos I uploaded to YouTube and if I click on one of them, there's another landing page for it. This is, I didn't, I didn't write this content within Webflow, I actually did it in Notion. Let's have a quick look into the CMS database icon right here and um, I've already created a CMS collection. If you haven't got one, you can just click on this little icon here and it will take you to a page which is looking similar to this, right? So um, I've already set up my CMS collection. If you want to add a new field, you can do that by clicking here and then just choose whatever you want to choose, right? Um, so I've set up a few custom fields. If you have a look into the, the actual blog post, you can see that there's a lot of content in here. So I've got a title, I've got a slug, important. I've got a post buddy, all right, um, a summary, and all the custom fields we discussed early on. So to give you a quick overview of my situation, right? I just started this new YouTube channel thing, um, which is great and it's a lot of fun. And I'm using Notion for basically all my stuff, like all, all things I'm writing down, I'm taking notes, I'm having databases in there, blah, blah, blah. And I love it. I wanted to be able to actually use all that information in order to populate everything and automate everything I have running, right? So I use that for other tools as well. But right now we are going to talk about how to actually get that data from Notion and put it into any place you'd like. So now we're going to keep it to Webflow. But that's basically the, the process, right? So what I do is I take notes within my Notion board I created, right? It's a content calendar. And that's why I put in everything. So um, I've got a couple of custom fields in here I set up. And here you can actually see my blog body, my slug, um, the Twitter text. And the slug is um, actually, it's a formula. So what I did right there, I just used the name of the page, uh, replaced all the empty spaces with a dash and voila. That's my slug, right? The status is really important here because I can choose whether that's just a simple idea, it's in progress, um, it's published, it's in review, it's published on, or I'm going to publish it on, on YouTube. And that's basically my trigger. So as soon as I put any of those pages on published, 
my automation is triggering and it's starting to take all that all that data and put it into webflow also what i've done is i've put up a webflow idea here to help me out so the most common option here to automate um, would actually be Go into the documentation of Webflow API and figure out how to do it with PHP or um, JavaScript, which is great. I mean, they have a good documentation um, for all those people who are interested, but I also like to save time. That's why I chose to use Make, formerly known as Integromat is an automation tool which is able to connect basically almost any software you know right so if you click here on templates you can actually see that they have lots and lots of examples on how to use that a lot of them using google sheets because it's just a simple database and everyone knows it let's go into social media okay so for example i can choose that template Add new Instagram comments to a Google, Google Sheet and auto reply if they contain specific keywords. And this is some, some, some fancy marketing stuff, okay? But yeah, um, that's the tool I chose to use. And I'm going to show you how I actually built the automation. That is the setup right here. So if you um, are in Make, just go to Scenarios right here, um, create a new scenario and start from scratch um, you are going to be able to choose a trigger and i chose watch database items in notion here it is already um, as soon as you have that in there you can basically choose a connection you can basically tell it when to trigger okay so you can say for example every day for a specific time or special days of the week so it's going to check every 15 minutes um, for database changes within the database I, um, I defined right so what I did here in the connection in between um, I filtered so that I only get the pages or the database entries with a published date which is important for me because I only want published um, Notion items to be published to my Webflow website, okay? Then what I did is um, actually put in a router and the router lets you decide um, on different dates which way to go, right? Now down here I said that's, that's going to be a new item which doesn't exist in Webflow so far. And how I'm able to check that is with the ID I just mentioned, right? So in Webflow, I had this ID, Webflow ID, this field. And if that's empty, go down this path. If it's filled, I'm telling Make to go up that path, all right? As soon as the item doesn't exist, um, Make is going to create an item within Webflow. I created another um, automation right here to update the database item. Okay, so I took the item I got before, um, changed the Webflow ID to item ID. Webflow. So every EMS item has a, um, has a unique ID, which I'm using to actually make sure that I'm not um, creating duplicate content, right? So if the ID exists, I want to check for that for that item in Webflow and update it, right? So sometimes I change the description of a Notion database entry. It's gonna check for every update in there and update it accordingly. Let's have a look into the actual Webflow page because there's something I came across which was a bit annoying, let's say. All right, if I go to my 
blog post template. What I wanted to do actually, put in the video blog of Webflow and get the video for my YouTube link, right? Uh, that's not working. <laughs> so um, I checked in the forum and the problem right here is that if the link is automatically posted into the Webflow CMS, it's not able to scrape the data from that video. So as soon as you, let me show you. If you go into any, any blog post and I have that link right here, it's inserted already, right? But there's no data underneath it. So if I take that out and paste it back in, it's actually scraping the data and now it's able to show me the video, right? But if it's automatically, and that was the case before, if it's automatically inserted by a, by a, via the API through Make or any other tool, it's not able to scrape that data. So I had to find a workaround basically. And the workaround was a little bit of code. So if you have a look in here, there's a little embed I put in. So I'm going to make it real easy for you, okay? You can simply copy that code from my Notion page, right? So I've got a link down below. You can click on that and just copy and paste that um, into your own Webflow site. But I need to explain it to you a little bit more, okay? So um, up here, that's just styling to make sure that the actual iframe of the YouTube video is responsive. If you are choosing to host a Vimeo video, um, you might not need that because uh, I think they've got responsive iframes, kinda. But YouTube doesn't. And so that's the div with the iframe in here. And you can see that I've got a link without the actual YouTube ID, right? So at first it starts to load an iframe without any video, but I'm going to insert it um, with JavaScript, a little bit of JavaScript. Okay, if we scroll down here, you can see that there's a link variable and I simply added a field in here. So you can also add custom fields into your embedded code editor, which makes it real easy for you to actually declare that variable for the people in the front end to see. Okay, so I've got that YouTube link. And what I'm doing here is basically get only the the ID from that link, right? So, so that I'm able to, within Notion, post any, any link I want. Didn't want to simply put the, or simply copy the ID from, from the YouTube link from the browser and put it in here. It's just an extra step for me, right? So I decided to also save up some time and energy, energy there. And um, yeah, simply get that from the link I posted. Okay, and after that, I'm simply going to um, insert that ID into here. So as you can see, I've got a query selector using that um, div container defined here. And we're going to change the source to whatever this ID might be. Okay, if your, if your automation is set up and ready, but it's real easy, you, like it's gonna take a couple of minutes to get into make and then you're ready to go. Also what I'm going to do from now on is actually add more modules back here. So as soon as I create, a, create an item, I would like to post a tweet on Twitter and get that tweet data from the Notion board as well, right? So 
If I publish it on Notion, it's going to be published on Webflow and on Twitter. And you can go on and on with it, right? So you can connect maybe your, if you got subscribers to a newsletter, so you can send them an email or you can um, connect Telegram to it and receive a message that all, um, all automations have been completed, right? So um, endless opportunities here. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because it does make a difference. As I said in the beginning and um, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.